What's up guys? Welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in and welcome to my cheap, simple daily driver. This thing is a 1994 Chevrolet S10, single cab, short bed, two wheel drive, little four banger, four cylinder, 2.2 liter, and it unfortunately is an automatic. However, I just picked this truck up for $2,250, a cheap, nice, simple daily, and it's also pretty low miles. This thing only has 67,000 miles. The only thing it does need is a oil change, right? So freshen up all the fluids, of course. It needs some windshield wipers and it needs a passenger side mirror. This is literally all I need to keep the miles off my Cummins and keep the wear and tear off of it. And this is it, a couple hundred bucks just to you know make sure it's nice and drivable. We'll make sure everything is good and we'll just drive it like this as is. A few moments later. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow. Well, that didn't age too well. I, I just, I couldn't help myself. What could I say? Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. And in the driveway is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief They deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go Never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 You got a mind, but even that Well, this was supposed to be my cheap daily that I wasn't gonna touch. I was just gonna drive it. However, guy math got in the way. I took a you know two thousand dollar beater daily driver, and I don't even know how much money I did put into it. However, it freaking looks good. It looks stupid, but it looks good. But since I did put some money into it, and you know take it from looking like this to this, I figure maybe I'll take you all around for the ride to let you know exactly what I did to, uh, I don't know, to get it to this point right here. Like I said, this thing only needed a couple things to be drivable, and that was literally just like a fluid change. So I did oil, oil filter, air filter. I did a serpentine belt. It needed like uh, a license plate light was out. The third brake light was out. Did a fuel filter and it needed windshield wipers. That was, oh, and, and mirrors, it needed mirrors. The passenger side mirror, there was none. And the driver's side mirror was held on by like two wood screws. So I did decide to buy brand new mirrors because they were $20 a piece. So I did mirrors, I did a serpentine belt, did my fluid change, did the air cleaner change, and I just like cleaned it. And I was done. That's all I wanted to do to this truck. And I started driving it and it looked really good. But then, but then, I decided that it would be fun to paint the lower valence because it was faded and it was pink. And then while I did that, I also put some LED lights on the inside and then then I was done. Oh, that was cool. And then I was like, man, this thing needs some window tint. So then we did window tint. So we did 5% on the rear glass and then 15% on the side glass. And gore dang, does this look, that is, that's sexy. So now, now people aren't gonna make fun of me while I drive a little two wheel drive S10. They can't even see me. And I didn't touch the windshield on this because Normally, if you know me, I normally do windshield tint on my vehicles. However, I wasn't doing it on this because I have 30-year-old headlights and I could barely see at nighttime with these headlights with no windshield tint. So we did no windshield tint. And then it just looked good. And then, then I decided that it needed shocks because these shocks were 30 years old and it was super, super squishy. So I was like, yeah, I'll put some shocks on this truck. So I did shocks and that was it. And then just like, I needed storage for the truck. So I found this toolbox for 50 bucks on Marketplace. That was a pretty good find. And then I was cool. And then I just keep driving the truck and uh, I'm like, man, it squats so much. So then finally I just did shackles. So I did some lift shackles in the rear. 
Uh, oh yeah, then the tailgate. The tailgate had an issue. The one tailgate um, strap, I guess, if you will. The bolt that used to hold it on was broken, so I fixed that. That's obviously easy. So I did shackles, and then I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just drive this truck. And then Marketplace hit me, dude. And, and then I just drove the Cumberland, Maryland, so two hours each way to find these wheels and tires. And uh, I put them on. I mean, they're way too big. They're 31 1050s. They look good. However, like rear, look how freaking beefy those are. Those look awesome. And I mean, they still look beefy and they're good up front too. However, I did have to trim a lot of fender pretty much to make these fit. And uh, oh yeah, and then while I did that, I pulled the grill off and I sanded and painted the grill, tinted out the uh, side marker lights, which I went way too dark on that. And I did black out the Chevy bow tie. And I think it looks good. I mean, it's overboard. It's way too much. It looks good. Can't forget the interior, baby. I mean, it's, it's a normal interior S10 truck. However, Black Friday got the best of me. So I did put a Pioneer head unit in, and then I did end up replacing all four speakers. There's two up on the dash and two, of course, on the doors. And all that's just a result from not being able to help myself. So, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll, and I, I'll be honest. So, like, I don't know if Max is going to keep the wheels and tires on the truck. And I, I say that just because this is two-wheel drive and it is a four-cylinder. And holy crap, you can feel the difference lugging around these big heavy 31s versus like the stock wheels and tires, but it but it looks good, so I don't know. Uh sorry about the filming. I actually forgot the memory card for my good camera, so I am filming on my iPhone, something I typically don't do. And uh that's that's it. It's just a small, simple, short video on the S10, how it uh how it just escalated so quickly. So drop a comment below. I'm curious to see what you guys think about the transformation of the S10. And uh, that's it, man. I got some other stuff to do today. Just kind of wanted to highlight the S-Dime because, like, damn, it looks good. Uh, like the video. I'll see you guys next week. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Peace.